Hi, my name is Zach. I'm a CTO, and I give Jitsi a four star out of five. For more reviews like this, click below. Before Jitsi, we were using uh, Slack video calls, and uh, we were just having some random sort of technical difficulties with different people on our team. Uh, some people had audio problems, some people had different connection problems. Uh, really just, unfortunately, it wasn't meeting our needs for the most basic um, standard, which is just having a reliable platform. It wasn't reliable enough for us. Um, and, and that was really the main reason why, why we decided to switch and look for other tools. So the reasons why we chose Jitsi, uh, for one, it's a great free solution. Uh, that was a big deal. And the fact that it's so, um, that it works for anybody without setting out an account and works through the browser and is really easy for um, any other users to join a Jitsi meeting, that was a huge plus for us. So it worked great internally within our team, but it also worked with, uh, with other clients when we wanted to set up meetings. Uh, all we had to do was send them a link, and it was always an easy, no-hassle way to start a meeting. There was no applications to download, there's no accounts to create, um, so it doesn't matter what other programs they might be uh, used to. Uh, Jitsi always worked great. And um, other than that, it really just met all those basic requirements. Um, it has all the great functionality of, of most of the other um, video conference applications uh, and it can also record meetings so that was also a great advantage for us um, just connect it to your Dropbox and it can record meetings and store the recordings there um, and besides that yeah it has all the the, the standard um, configurations and ways to control uh, the speakers and participants in the meeting so it really met all of our met all of our needs in that respect. I can say that Jitsi was probably the easiest application that I've ever gotten started. Uh, it was just um, so quick and easy going to the browser and just clicking on the, the initial button, start a meeting, and you already are up and running. And then you can send a link to your friend and get started. I mean, there's really um, no uh, no barriers to, to start up with Jitsi. It's one of the easiest applications to start with. So my recommendation is if you're considering Jitsi, uh, first of all, uh, the price is obviously great, being free. Um, and it really just depends on your needs and what you're looking for. Um, so within the team, if, you're, if you need a quick, easy to set up um, video conferencing tool, both internally with clients, I really think it's, it's a great option. Um, probably the only downside is that um, it doesn't have all the integrations, so it's not an all-in-one tool, as in like the calendar and scheduling and, um, and the, the recording option that some other uh, tools out there have. So you do have to use Dropbox um, to save the recordings. So you might need to get a paid Dropbox account. And um, the calendar isn't integrated in there. So the scheduling and, and meeting scheduling might have to be done through a separate um, platform also. So just if you're OK with a little bit of um, you know, disjointedness in that respect, then I think it, it's a great option. If you're really looking for one whole cohesive um, video application calendar scheduling uh, recording, uh, then you might have to look at some other platforms out there.